Mama vana sema Pen Dream TV. Pen Dream TV dia osia dem yopo. who is not an NDC member but obviously he has uh, a stake in these elections and uh, you may want to uh, share a thing or two with us on this. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, have, I have a lot of interest. I don't know whether you are convinced uh, <laughs> on uh, the analysis of our Absolutely, as in, for me, uh, absolutely and uh, of course I have, I have an interest because I'm a Ghanaian. <laughs> as in, every Ghanaian should have an interest. For me, my concern is why is this even a story? <laughs> That's how I want to look at it from. Why, uh, why is this a story? Is it a strategy from uh, if it's coming from Delhi Guard, it's likely to be from the MPP. <laughs> is it a strategy to shift focus on what really the issues uh, ought to be going to the 2024 elections? Yes, and probably there's a strategy to make Ghanaians think that uh, there's a massive rift. Uh, I'm not NDC member, if there's a rift, I'm sure they themselves, uh, that there's a massive rift within the NDC. They're trying to push through uh, that conception that there is a rift between the NDC's presidential candidate and and uh, what's called uh, Honorable Haina Idrisu and Muntaka. How that message being pushed, how that will help the uh, MPP's candidate, Alaji Mahmoud Baumia, to win the 2024 election, I don't know. Or how that's going to help as in, uh, push their, their, their agenda, I don't know. At the end of the day, what's most critical going to 2024 elections is one, what kind of message, you understand, or what kind of proposal are you putting across that's going to attempt to solve what has been the perennial issues plaguing our country. So in, 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 in Anabo's earlier sub, uh, submission, you made a fantastic point about S South Africa failing to deliver on the promise of ANC failing to deliver on the promise of uh, uh, the fall of apartheid. And, and, and that being the reason why for a party that had a massive hold on politics in South Africa are now in a situation where they have to practically dine with the enemy. <laughs> you understand? I think we find ourselves in a similar situation. Essentially, collectively as Ghanaians, and, 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 and you see, and forgive me, I, I, I don't want to do MPP and DC, but essentially they, they've been powerful the entire 32 years. We've collectively as people failed to deliver on the promise of democracy. Now, going to 2024 election, you have an issue where, based on what we all communicated, myself included, why there was a need to bring Nanado. And why Nanado told us why he felt he needed to bring Baumia. Yeah, 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 you, uh, you get the point. And taking that into consideration, what the central issue will be going to 2024? And that central issue being the class instability of our economy. Yeah, 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 I understand. As in the circumstances that, that have led our currency to move from four cities to almost 16 cities. The issues that, or the lack of leadership, that has led to majority, a lot of Ghanaians being classified as 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 a, 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 a poor or the number of people who have been reduced into po po poverty the lack of clear leadership the the, the ethics of the leadership you know, the issues that put this around our present sitting down mm, for state properties to be sold the breakdown fundamental breakdown in law and order in our country you, you understand and the fact that in this election you have one a former president who was also a former vice president. You have a former vice president, or a current vice president, who was touted as the panacea to solve, to basically solve the economic problems, transform the economy, and deal with the hatterization of the city. You, you know the, the, the hatterization of the city. The, 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 the hatterization of the city. City naya hata hata. ba <laughs> the hatterization of the city. So, 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 and, and these are the issues Ghanaians need to make a decision on going into the 2024 elections. Like I said in my earlier sub, uh, submission, there's a reason why the framers of our constitution felt the need to add the chapter 6, even though we know it's, it's not justiciable. They felt that because of our peculiar situation, the fact that we have tried democracy three times and failed, they needed to advise the people of Ghana 
hein, the people who take leadership roles, hein, and even the political parties. Because when you read the Dietary Principles of State Policy, the advice is not just to the president and the parliamentarians, but the advice also is to the citizens of this country and the political parties. Now, when you are taking decisions, be guided by these principles. One, the political principle, the economic principle, the social principle, educational principle, etc. And, 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 and all. All the candidates putting themselves forward. Which of them has demonstrated an ability to take us closer to those ideals? Which of them has a program that can deliver or take us closer to the promised land of those ideals? And which of them has the credibility? Has the, and, and, and you see, the biggest problem, somebody like His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud I mean, I like to call him Abu Samuna. I like to call him Abu Samuna. One of the biggest problems he's, he's, he's going to face, one beyond the fact that he does not have any credibility, as in zero credibility, is the confusion in his message. <laughs> you know, we all read the, uh, what's it called, the, what's it called, the, is it the solution? He said some solution, we, the, the one he did at the uh, IPS or UPS, both solutions. Mm. Yes, both solutions. Well, at one point he was saying he was a meat. At that point he was saying that he was the one tax to be, as in to transform the uh, Economy, where he told Ghanaians the strategies he used to attempt to transform the economies. And we can all see the weakness in the attempts he made because of the state of the economy. So Ghanaians should not sit down and allow themselves to be swayed by un as in, uh, uh, inconsequential issues. As if any decides that they are not going to uh, 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 appoint Muntaka and uh, Haruna Idrisu into GM's campaign, uh, how is that an issue for the common? Ghanian. Mm. No, how's that? How's that an issue? You see, how come Ghanians? We should open our eyes. We should not allow uh, the politicians to 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 cause us to lose focus on what the key issues of these elections are. You understand? Beyond the economy, the key issues. One of the key issues I see going into this election is the kind of leadership that will restore the confidence the people of Ghana have in our politicians. Because that's at an all-time low. That's at an all-time low. <coughs> and it portends great danger for our constitutional democracy. When the, when, when the people, because we should remember, it is a republic. It is a republic. The re being the sovereign, the public being the people. So immediately the people lose confidence in this system. Then it's finished. And so certainly leadership is an issue in this election. Whether the president says that and then a, 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 a state's property are being sold, and all he can say is that labor union should sit down with a, 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 the minister involved. When people clearly do, do not understand that when you are in public office, there's a public trust created in you, which means that you cannot be seen to be benefiting economically from your position. And that principle informs the conflict of interest issues. You know, and all these issues are up for this election. They should not come and distract us with inconsequential stories and muntaka and why is the, is the election about this? The, 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 the ego, the egos in our pol pol political space is what sometimes they think is about them. Forgetting that there's a purpose for which we give them our powers. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, me my call is on, is on Ghanaians. We should open our eyes. We should open our eyes. At least we know what bad leadership can give us. We know where bad leadership can drive our nation. We, we know, at least the, 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 the evidence is, the, is, is clear for everybody to see. Over the past eight years, we've been dealt a leadership that's premised on fraud, on lack of commitment, eh? a leadership that is based on ethnocentrism. Mm? Also, everything that our country was built on. Every the foundations of this country, as in when Kwame Nkrumah struggled to forge one Ghana, where your tribe didn't matter, it was suddenly in, 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 decisions that borders on leadership. In fact, 
we, we see tribal issues coming to the fore. And you see, I, I know people don't see that, but I mean, I see that way. That's a fundamental feel of leadership. Yeah. That's a fundamental feel of leadership because when you read the directive principles of state policy, because of the peculiar nature of our country, and when you're a leader, it should be one of your core aims understand, to further deepen the unity. You understand? Your, your dedication should be in creating that Ghana where as we will reach a stage where people won't even ask you, or there'll be no need to, to ask you in front of free. But, but all these issues right now are, are as in, it has, it's, it's, it's been destroyed and they want to cause us to lose focus by bringing an inconsequential story like uh, 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 what is it, how did they not be in uh, Mohammed's campaign team for me that's, that's my, uh, my problem uh, and, and I'll call on a journalist or you yourself, you say you are the fourth estate of this country, that's what they say you, you have allocated powers onto yourself and rightly so because if we agree that you need the right political culture eh, to sustain our democracy, the one of the most powerful institutions in that end eh, are, are the journalists, because they have the peculiar power to mobilize pu public opinion. And then when you, you, have, you have gotten that platform, and you're using that platform to perpetrate stories that will, that will undermine, uh, and so Rana is like, who, who, who is fighting for Ghana? Well, I mean, the way I see things, it's like people are just interested in their MPP and their NDC and their political parties. Who is fighting for Ghana? Nobody seems to think about Ghana. Forgetting that if you don't have a strong Ghana, if you don't have the right culture, if we don't have the right values and principles, then everything, all these things we are doing, everything we are doing will come to naught. So, as not to talk for me, I just call the people of Ghana because really they, are, they have the power. We have the power. Eh? When you are going to make your decisions, don't allow yourself to be swayed by pedestrian propaganda, unnecessary ones. Uh, I'm sure Mut, uh, was good, the Mut, Mutaka and they have their own campaigns to run. Uh, they have their own campaigns to run. Rather be focused on issues that will solve and restore Ghana as the black star of Africa. You understand? And for me, uh, let me use just this one minute to do my own campaign. For me, the leader that has put across a message Mm -hmm. whose focus is to build that one Ghana. It's very critical. It's very critical that we build that one strong Ghana where your tribe, your ethnic group, your religion, even your political part does not... Come I've had discussions with you. Mm -hmm. No discussions, and it's not because... I have an but I've made it clear so many times that yes, I may not have the same ideology with him, but my respect for him... Yes, and in terms of what is his contribution. How, what, what have I not said about Haruna? Uh, 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 I make it a point to always listen to him. I, 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 I told you, because of the so many things I learned from him. So the point is, should it matter that he's NDC and I'm a movement for change? You understand? You, you need to build a Ghana where it doesn't matter the political coloring of people. Once they have the talent, you understand? they have the wherewithal. And most importantly, they have the commitment to build this country. We should all come together and build a country. Because we are right now, if I want to take all the political parties in this country, in terms of idea, it's very fluid. I don't see a difference, really, in terms of, of, of the ideas, the ideology. When you take the NDC and MVP, really, when they come, what fundamental change do we see in terms of the idea where the country is going? You understand? Right now, there's no regard for idea, for ideology. We need to build a country where even the our party coloring doesn't really matter. That what that, that that what really matters is our commitment, our common yeah. commitment to restore Ghana as the black star of Africa. Yeah. That should be a guiding yeah. principle. And it is in that regard that yeah. our sale and John Kodichaman seem to all Ghanaians. Yeah. And also to tell Ghanaians that please let us disregard some of these stories. They are very pedestrian and we don't need that going to twenty twenty four. Mr. Pratt, so you can uh send your messages by, by the channel. But, but let, let me start with you, lawyer, um, on the next topic. Uh, the search is over. Snapple? What, what, NIB? What, what search? Eh? What for a running meet. Running meet? Mm. Uh, uh, the meet, the meet. Meet? Yes, meet. Uh, but, well, the, the guy who is searching for a is just a meet. <laughs> but I don't know why. 
And the so what NIB has failed itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. NIB. The, uh, NIB they have the powers to. I don't know. And, and and who do they settle on? Napo, Matthew, uh, Opoku, the current NIB. Uh, the same Napo. We should bring a timetable. Eh? Uh, my timetable is 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 ready. But you see, see, I don't know why this vice president issue has and has become such a massive one within the new patriotic party. But for me, you see, if you analyze critically the delay and the lack of regard for the terms of their own constitution. Because I think they their constitution, the presidential candidate is sort of re-regulated re as to when he, 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 he ought to make or choose the vice president. Because they, they, they have, so it's not as if he has, he has unfettered, unfettered powers to, at his whim, decide. I think he, he, he is limited per their own constitution. Now, that lack of regard for their own terms of constitution for me should tell Ghanaian something. That when you vote for His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya, you have no regard for due process. Yeah, because you need to, to respect your own constitution. So if where he is not re regarded, it, it, it should. It should, it should, it should well, you see, we are going to make an analysis of the character, most importantly, because, especially because of. In my view, the lack of commitment being one of the biggest issues with his excellency in Danado. He has no regard for their own constitution. Two, we are we are almost in July. You know, it's the NIB telling us, but it's right, the vice president has not chosen officially who his running mate will be. Is it the case that he does not he's he's unable to make a decision? Because when you are president, or one of the fundamental jobs of president is your ability to make decisions and make them quickly. <coughs> Yeah, 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 I understand. So the vice president is unable to make a decision as to who his vice president, his vice president will be. So how, how is he going to make all that, the, the numerous decisions? And I does not have the power to, so I'm not even going to, they have done their own survey. That's what they are saying. And they are saying that majority of Ghanaians want Napo as his uh, vice president's, uh, uh, Bamiya's vice, not so. And by NIB, what power do they have? To, to make that that, 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 that that decision. Yeah, 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 you understand? But for me, that I'm saying, let's look at the vice, the vice president himself, the person who wants to be president. The fact that one, in spite of the clear terms of their own constitution or their own policy, that is that you need to make your vice president choice at such a time. He's disregarded it. What he tells me that this is somebody who has no regard for, for, uh, for principle, for, for due process. Two, the amount of time that he needs to make that decision also tells me that there's somebody, you understand, who struggles to make decisions, who is indecisive, indecisive. Because you are going to elect him to a position where he will need to make decisions as in, then what, what, what does the president do? You are, you are making decisions, you are, you are policy and all, it's decision making. And if it is as simple as this, because he's known that he, he, he wanted to be president of Ghana for a very long time, so he did not know the the, the, the the kind of people he would he would choose as his vice president. But so but most importantly this vice president told us that he was just a mate. And so it means that when we are going to choose or going to vote in twenty twenty four, the most important consideration should be on the person of the president of the of, of the candidate. See I don't waste executive time and discuss Napo. As we can, I don't want to waste executive time and discuss in Napo. After all, we've been we, 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 we know Napo. Ghanaians know Napo, but the vice president is telling us that. So, beyond how he's handled the energy sector, beyond how he handled the educational sector, you, know, you, 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 you get the point. How he's handled himself in public life, the lack of, in my view, decorum in some of his utterances. Uh, 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 you get the picture because how many people know Napo? You hear people say, "Oh, he's good, oh, he's this, this." But uh, how many Ghanaians are you going to meet? You you meet uh, uh, more than zero point zero 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 one percent of Ghanaians. 
So then your, your, your values, your respect for people, your commitment to the development and dedication of this country, you understand, will be very critical. You, uh, you get the point. And so, Kwame, me, for me, we are going to have to, or we are going to make a decision come 7 December as to who will become our president. Uh, Bamiya himself has already told us that he has no regard for the position of vice president because he was just a mate. So he, Bamiya, when whoever is his vice, he has no regard for him. He has no regard for due process. And I think all these things are seen in how governance has been done. You take the 5G issue, lack of due process. Hmm? You take uh, uh, the state issue. You, you, you understand? Lack of an appreciation of the ethics of leadership. And, and, and all or everything that's happened is seen in how things were handled within their party. And, 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 and we are seeing the same. When another was saying all that we die and all those irresponsible statements, eh? when he, he initiated and saw through the coup against Paula Foucault and the rest, when he changed the character of his party, I think what he was doing was to tell Ghanaians of how he was going to handle his presidency. You know, we took that for granted. We should not make the same mistake. Everything that Bamiya is doing now, his lack, for, his lack of regard for their own policy, their, their constitution, as to when he ought to have announced who was his vice president. The in, his indecisiveness. Uh, and what he himself has said regarding how he sees the position of vice president. Mm? For me, you should talk Ghanaians how his presidency will be. I can assure you the presence of, of Baumia will lack leadership, will lack value, will lack principle, mm? will lack commitment, and it, 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 it is a danger, it, it pretends danger for our constitutional democracy. So I call all Ghanaians. Eh? I call all Ghanaians. That the same way you will reject Abu Sam Samana, the same way you reject, don't touch me. We should reject His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Rahman and whoever, whoever he decides to choose as his vice president. Because if, if not for anything, the next need to make our politicians know that when you've delivered wrong leadership or bad leadership, there's going to be consequence. Because if we take that consequence away, then we are, we are done. Thank you very much. Uh, I think my uncle Kuzi Fatih uh, gives that you saw the matter. No, he gave it to me. He saw the matter over close. No, no, yeah, no. Why, why, see? But once again, you see, sometimes, I remember when I started uh, this my media, media things, uh, I went to Kasapa, I think sometime 2021. And then I went to talk about, oh, economy, uh, GDP is this, and growth is that, and then the, the host asked me, so, what does all the figures I'm bundling around, what does it represent or mean to the common man on the, on the ground? Because at the end of the day, better matter, matter. You see, my <laughs> wife went to the market, but myself, I, I intend to go to uh, coming, you know, not, not the Saturday, the, the Saturday after. Because that's when you see the real state of our economy. Basket of tomorrow, too. Ah, pepe, The cup to one is one pepe for one city. They, they, they can't pepe. Ten city pepe, you get like ten. Ten. ten yeah. Yeah. So, they should stop this insensitive behavior and... That's you know, see, people, yeah. see, my you problem, I'm right. speaking. My problem with these people, <coughs> my problem with these people, and when I say these things, I say, are you wearing the PP? I say, you don't get to the point. That, you see, we are Ghanaians first. It's, it's, it's the dishonesty, the lack of commitment, the fact that these people are just driven by a, a, a clear desire to just win power. They just want the power. They just want the power. But they forget that the power is, is, is a vehicle. It's a vehicle to, to do good. You see, they forget about that. Because when people are struggling to buy, and uh, not to sound too pompous, when people are um, 16 years at the bar and we are working, <laughs> you understand? And we, 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 we are all struggling. You understand? If I'm having discussions with my wife, as to why, and to the extent that she will explain to me that, listen, I, I, I'm buying pepper. 10 seeds of paper, I'm getting 10, 10 pieces, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 of pepper. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Then it tells you where the hole, the big hole they've driven our country into. And so instead of finding, what is that? As in this, say repetition, oh, growth is this. Inflation is that. What does it mean to the common man? What does it mean to the common man? Well, it goes to 4% or something percent. At the end of the day, people don't have the money to consume because see, when you define what an economy is, economy is not isn't just about the, about you producing, but also cons consuming. You, 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 you get a picture. Now, where you've created a situation where you've practically killed killed the ability of common Ghanaian to consume, <coughs> hmm? hmm. then do you don't wear your coat and, and tell us that growth. I, I don't even trust that information. See, the, the way they've even pleased me, I don't even trust anything that comes out from their mouth. Because if the economy is growing by four, uh, it has grown by four, well, last, we should see it. We should see it. But if I'm good to, if I'm supposed to stand by the words of His Excellency Dr. 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 Baumia, who said, mm, who said, that you can do all the propaganda you want. You can do, you can bundle around any kind of economic indicator. If the exchange rate, uh, rate eh, the exchange rate what will expose you. The exchange rate will expose you. But at the end, they, when they define economics, the end point is to make the citizens happy, the people happy, to have able to have a certain quality of life. You, you understand? The, at the end game is to see people progressively moving out of poverty into a better life. Is to see real progress in health delivery services to the people is to see real progress in the quality of education that we are being granted is to see real progress in terms of the quality of infrastructure that is being created and then they, it should be seen in the attractiveness of our business environment as to people who want to invest into this country and you have a situation you've created a, a toxic economic environment where people are rather living don't live people want to live yeah, yeah. So people want to leave the country. You, you have a situation where you go across the country and the, 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 the destruction in or the lack of infrastructure. You, you, uh, uh, you, you get, get picked up. Things are so expensive that right now you must be very creative. Otherwise, you'll go hungry. Very, very hungry. <laughs> let me leave you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just to end. Uh, me, and yeah. then just, just and mm. then you have the temerity, the cockroach audacity to tell us that because you've recorded four point something growth, we should clap for you. They'll see in twenty twenty four. They'll see the state of the economy in twenty twenty four when we vote them out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just so when right. we vote them out, then you'll see the state mm. of the economy. Are you finished? All right. Okay, so let me read this one from uh, Alanja Hamza Pickfile and then we'll wrap up. Good morning to you, brother. In my humble opinion, the pool conducted by NIB is the most useless pool and uh, must be thrown into the dustbin. In any case, what authority has the NIB to conduct uh, an opinion pool for the MPP? They have even gone ahead to advise the president to inject more money into the energy sector and we shall be well with um, a pool. Just take a look at the difference between Napoleon and Nips mentioned. This is a cooked pool conducted by NID, and so it's shameful. In any case, whoever partners Dr. Baumia cannot prevent them from going into opposition. Honorable, thank you very much for your time this morning. Uh, David Kama, I may not find them serious. Now, so far, so good. Say so, open okay, online portal, what Ghana? Ah, you can share, you can follow, you can comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I append to TV.